Surrey has more trees than any other county in the UK, but not in volume, but density, a feature that makes it scenically so special. It also has the highest hill in the southeast of England. At 965 feet, Leith Hill is crowned by a tower, bringing the total height to just over 1,000 feet, a minimum figure in imperial measurement often quoted classifying a hill as a mountain. Leith Hill is the focal point of the Surrey Hills area of outstanding natural beauty. It is a couple of miles southwest of Dorking, and access around its perimeter by public transport is available, with some local bus services serving Peaslake and Holmbury St Mary. There are several car parks close to the tower, but wear boots or stout shoes as the ground, even on clear paths, is uneven. The surrounding villages include Shear, Abingerhammer, and Ockley, all worthy of your camera. My favourite approach on foot from a bus stop is from the north at Wootton, but before you leave, don't miss out the picture-perfect view of the church. Choose the right time of year, and the walk will take you through Bluebell Woods to Friday Street, another picture-perfect setting often featured on calendars. Another couple of miles brings you to the tower, but carry a map as there are many paths offering different roots. The tower was built in 1765 by Richard Hull as a place for people to enjoy the glory of the English countryside, which can still be done today. The top is open at certain times, but there are many steps, and there is a cafe at its foot. The views spread out over the Weald of Sussex, and on a clear day you can just perceive the sea through a gap in the South Downs at Shoreham, as well as planes taking off from Gatwick Airport. Not far away, and just below the summit of Leith Hill, is Leith Hill Place, its woods noted for rhododendrons, looking particularly spectacular at Easter. The house, now in the care of the National Trust, was owned by the Wedgwood family, and the English composer Rafe Vaughan Williams, who was born in Gloucestershire, 
spent much of his childhood there before being educated at Charterhouse. Later in his career, Vaughan Williams moved to Dorking, where he founded the Leith Hill Music Festival. His fifth symphony was composed during the Second World War at Dorking, using music from his opera, or morality as he preferred to call it, The Pilgrim's Progress. Against all expectations at its premiere, it expressed peace, and not war that everyone at the time craved for, something that has echoes today. But, in its absence, we can still enjoy Leith Hill, which for many is an undiscovered landscape, and dare I say, a characteristic that I hope will remain. <laughs> 